They call it the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Nano G3, and in this video, let's unbox it. I have yet to take a look at this laptop before. I'm looking forward to getting it unboxed because I love the ThinkPad Extreme. I like the carbon fiber. I love the magnesium that's in the chassis on the top of the keyboard deck. It's just a well-built laptop. It's great for professional use. It's durable and it'll last a long time. So I'm excited to check out a thin and light version, more compact and form factor for somebody who's a little bit more on the go in the business sector, not as much in the creative like 3D modeling sector or video editing. This will be a great laptop for somebody who's doing some light Photoshop work, who's working on you know, business documents, sending emails, but once a really strong durable computer that can also stand the test of time. And this is really where it's at. Now this is a 65 watt hour charger block with USB type C charging. So keep in mind, you'll be occupying one of your USB type C slots for your charger. Let's get this thing out of the box. Nice and light, not feather light, not so much like insanely light, but it's, it's very light. Pull this out of the sleeve. Bam, so there is the bottom cover with that magnesium top cover, that carbon fiber. It doesn't have the carbon fiber pattern. That's a little bit of a disappointment for me. I really like the carbon fiber pattern, but that's the carbon fiber top cover. Okay, yeah, that's, that's insanely light. It's not, like I said, feather light, but it is very, very light. There's the weight and thickness coming up on the screen. I mean, goodness, this thing is just like on the go, ready to go. Save an extra 6% on a Lenovo Legion laptop by heading down in the description below, clicking the link and using the discount code BENKAISER6. That will give you an extra 6% off even sale prices of a Lenovo Legion or Legion Lock laptop, and it's good till the end of the year. So head down in the description below, click the link, and use the code BENKAISER6. Save yourself some extra money. Don't even have to wait for the Black Friday deals. All right, so we have two USB type C's on the left side, headphone jack, and then we have our power button on the right side. So not a lot of connectivity, which is why I think this is a great business and uh, light creative work laptop. Doesn't have all the connectivity you might need to hook up different devices like a mouse or a Wacom tablet or all that different stuff without bringing a dongle. If you bring a dongle, you're then good to go. So when you look at the bottom cover, this looks so similar to the other ThinkPad devices. They have this very similar assembly where the bottom cover fits into the side panels and the side panels kind of round themselves under to the bottom cover, creating a very seamless connection between bottom cover and side panels. And the assembly is just beautiful in these laptops and they're so well done. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the vents here. You see we have one vent at the fan and then our speakers are going to be right here. So it's not gonna have the most incredible audio experience being that the speakers are underneath, but we'll test that out during the full review and see what kind of speaker action we have. Now let's go ahead and open and close this laptop with one hand, not really possible, a pretty firm hinge. So you're gonna to wanna to do a two-handed open, which to me isn't a huge deal uh, because as you watch with the screen, when as soon as you open it, it's not gonna bounce. So it's a very nice, secure screen. It's not gonna be annoying and bouncing as you're trying to work. Let's go ahead and get this laptop powered up with the power button here on the right side panel. Let's do a little screen flex test here. Not super flexy, that looks really good. And we have an F2.0 for the camera, which means you're gonna have a really nice blurred background behind you. And this is a full HD camera. So I'm excited to test out that webcam here in just a minute. Oh, we can do it right now. All right, so there's a webcam, like I said, along the top bezel, it has a manual cutoff switch and here's a sample so you can check it out. This is the webcam on the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Nano and a little sample of the audio for you as well. This is an HD camera, it looks really nice, I must say. Okay. So the audio is way better than I expected. I'll do a full audio sample so you can hear it during the review, but wow, that's a lot better than I expected with the under the keyboard speakers, as well as some, uh, maybe some tweeters along the top here. All I know is it's very immersive from the sound. Well done on the speakers, Lenovo. I'm very surprised at the quality of it, being that these are under keyboard speakers. I love the little X1 Nano logo right here. I'm sure if you can see that, but that's a super nice touch. Love that there. Now the keyboard deck is great and the click on the trackpad is amazing. Just as good as that P1 that I just reviewed recently. We have that same keyboard layout where we have 
the arrow keys with the page up, page down, full size shift key. I love the layout they've put together here on these think pads. Really great work. Um, let me show you real quick the, the similarity. So here you can see the similarity between the P1 and the Nano. I mean, it's like the same thing, just consolidated. I'm gonna line these up next to each other so you can see. So same exact keyboard, it's just they shrunk it down. It's truly a Nano version. So really neat to see that translate into a smaller version. Great look. Even though we're on a nano version, still has a nice medium key press. None of that really tiny, small key press on like the Ultrabooks. I can't stand that where you feel like you're barely clicking anything. I like a nice medium key press and that has it here. Of course, the trackpad click is amazing, just like the P1, as well as the click buttons in the left, right, and center click for rotating around objects. Now, this is interesting to me because maybe you could be previewing 3D modeling designs but being that this has integrated graphics, you're not gonna be doing a ton of 3D modeling on this laptop, if any at all. But you could definitely preview some projects um, with this laptop and rotate around them with that center button. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability, you can head down in the description below and click those links. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Without further ado, let's flip the laptop over and check out the upgrade path. So I pull the bottom cover off to reveal the 48.3 watt hour battery. And below these two screws here, you have access to your M.2 drive. Now this is a smaller M.2 drive. So make sure you do a little digging when you go to purchase an upgraded one. This is a 222M size. So just do a little digging. I've actually done a full video on how to pick the right size drive. So if you jump onto my channel, you should be able to find that. Under tech terms, storage, that should help you there. So you do have access to upgrade an M.2 drive. However, you do not have access to RAM. So this will be the upgrade opportunity is the drive and no RAM. But still, it's really nice to see access to a drive because a lot of laptops these days don't even provide you with that. So great opportunity here with the ThinkPad X1 Nano. Remember, links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase or click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your purchasing decision. I'll see you in the next one.